I'm pissed, okay? And look, look, let me tell you, I'm gonna start like this. I appreciate anybody who's willing to get out there and try to work. I really do, okay? But we're two years out of the pandemic, and we still got a job crisis out here. Because you got motherfuckers working at jobs they ain't got no business to be working in. And y'all know me, I don't bitch about a whole lot, just everything I see. Uh, but once you start fucking with my chicken parmesan, you done crossed the line, motherfucker. I love Olive Garden. I'm not afraid to say that. I live in Alabama, that's fine dining around here. Plus, their slogan is, when you're here, you're family. Do you not think that gets me hard as hell? I live in Alabama. That's like Italian food and an orgy. You can fuck them. And I know their food is microwaved. I don't give a fuck. Don't tell me that. I know it. I'll microwave a toaster strudel. I don't give a shit, dude. But that's not what this is about. It ain't about the food, okay? There's a server that works there. I get her every time. Don't know how. <laughs> it just happens. She's like 75 pounds, and I don't give a damn. I don't. I don't. Size don't matter to me unless you're grading my cheese or sitting on my face. And guess what? She's grading my cheese. And she can't do it. She really fucking can't do it. Like, her arms is this big around, dude. She's like a little stick figure. And then, like, two cranks in, swear to God, she looks like Michael Clark Duncan on the Green Mile. She's like, I'm tired, boss. She grated in our salad. She's like, is that enough? She's pouring sweat. I looked in there, I'm like, damn, it look like dandruff. We're gonna need more of that, but take you a break, girl, shit. Go smoke a ciggy, come back. Give us two more. And I'm torn, you know, because I'm pissed on the inside. I want my cheese, but she's a sweet little girl. She's trying, I feel bad for her, you know? I want to get her a protein bar or some creatine. But then I'm like, damn, like, did you lie on your application? Like, how did you get this job? That's got to be the number one question on there. Can you grate cheese? Because you know what all gets cheese on Olive Garden's menu? I'll give you a hint, all of it. Except the wine, unless you're a fucking psychopath. And by the way, I do realize that it got dark on me halfway through this video. I had to go inside and boo-boo, okay? I'm sorry about that. Don't have a whole lot of cheese in my night. So I'm not bound up. And it gets dark at five, so sue me. But anyways, I just don't get it. Like, I don't understand why she wanted to work that job. Like, just seat cables, baby. Like, that's like a dude with no arms applying for a construction site. The guy that holds the stop and the slow sign the fuck are you doing? But like I said, she's sweet, you know, so I, I still go, and I cheer her on. I encourage her, because I get cheese on everything. I don't give a damn. I get some cheese on my napkin and my silverware, and I tell her to crank it, baby. Just keep cranking it, all right? Because you're going to look like the P90X guy in about three months when I'm done with your ass. But like, honestly, it's, I, ain't got, I ain't got a problem with this girl, because she's trying, man. This is, I ain't got a problem with you out there that ain't trying, that ain't fucking working. Get your ass back out there, you piece of shit. You know who you are, okay? And I'm tired of going to Walmart, too, man, and having you self-checkout every time because ain't nobody on the damn register, so nobody wants to work. I got to steal shit every time I go through there. That ain't my fault. That ain't my fault. That's between them and God, okay? I can't do it. Now, can you please get back in the workforce so we can get Polly Pocket off the cheese grater, motherfucker? I'm tired of having sweat all over my chicken parmesan. I just want a good cheese ratio, damn it.